let's look at more at the definitions of these three things. What do I mean by pray? What I mean is to develop a desire or longing for God's love to enter into your soul. That's what I mean by pray. So when I say the word pray, it means having a longing in your heart to connect with God and to feel God's love entering you. Now, when I say longing, I'm going to use the word a pure is pure desire. Can you see how that's fairly hard actually? Isn't it? Like it's very simple what we need to do on the divine path, but it's not easy. To have a pure desire it means that every single feeling that I have inside of myself is going to be challenged. So let's say I have a feeling of unworthiness inside of myself. At that instant that I'm feeling that feeling, am I going to be able to receive divine love? No, no because I'm not having a pure desire anymore. My, my feelings are I'm unworthy of your love, God. So as soon as I have that feeling, obviously my desire is no longer pure for God's love to enter me. And I will need to let myself be humble enough to feel that emotion of unworthiness. Right? Now, for me, I've been doing that really solid for the last six to eight weeks now. I've been doing it for probably five years, but the last six to eight weeks, really solid trying to focus on feeling those feelings of unworthiness. And it takes you into some really dark places inside of yourself. And if you're unwilling to go there, then, of course, that unworthiness is going to be blocking that connection with God. You follow me? So, when I say pray for God's truth, have a pure desire in your heart for truth. Not your own, but God's. But you also, of course, need to have a desire to feel your own. And also to feel the difference between what your truth is and what God's truth is. And that's really hard at times. Because, you know, when somebody comes up and bops you in the nose, what do you want to do? You know, there's a feeling of anger. I didn't deserve that. I want to get them back somehow, right? Now, is that what God does? It's not what God does. So straight away, I'm in disharmony with God's truth. Even though it feels so unfair, I, you know, I feel like I want to bop them back. I know that if I bop them back, I am actually in disharmony with God's truth. Right? And I'm going to need to feel the reasons why inside of myself I feel like bopping them back. And that might take a week to sort through all of those feelings, or a month even. Or maybe even a year, it just depends on how long we want to do with it. Definitely a year. Excuse me, what, what if they bop you again? I mean, you're <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said in the first century to turn the old check. There's a lot in that, if you think about it. So the answer is yes to your question. So, so you know, if you, if you love yourself enough as well, I mean, isn't it about feeling worthy yourself? Is it okay to let somebody abuse you? Um, if you really felt worthy, and this will get to the law of attraction a little later in our discussion, mm -hmm. but if you really felt worthy, it's highly unlikely you would have attracted the event in the first place. Mm -hmm. And if you have attracted that event, and you're in a state of complete worthiness, which probably means you're at one with God by now anyway, then somebody hitting you won't have any effect on you whatsoever, emotionally. So either way you look at it, you're in the situation because of either the law of attraction either because you're in a state of truth or in a state of error that you need to deal with. So, if somebody has hit you, go into your emotions. Feel those emotions. That is what's going to help you no longer attract that event. Now, sure, in that process that you go into the emotions, and we'll talk about this in a lot more detail, when you go into the emotions and feel the causal emotions, what will actually happen then is that you'll no longer desire to be around people who are going to hit you. But 
the truth is you walk up to a person and as soon as you meet them, you'll know they'll be able to hit you if you're in that state. And you will then decide, do I want to have more to, much to do with this person at this moment? Or, you know, I can just love them and, but go on my way. So you would not even be, let's say we're in an abusive relationship. We would not even be in an abusive relationship if we was in the, were in the state of at one minute with God. So you can see how there's truth mixed with some error in amongst the whole thing. 